we got who's here who's here who's here there's here right on salty corn <laughs> what <laughs> i don't get i don't get it i don't get it i don't get it i don't get it okay no biggie anyways let's get on to with so aaron is uh tied up doing family things <laughs> So I'm going to just pretty much get into her here because uh, I do want to finish this thing tonight. So if I get this thing finished up tonight, it'll be cool because then I can go and break it tomorrow or the next day or the next day, whatever. I'll break it this weekend. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron has one of these as well, but it's the lunchbox version. So uh, let's get this up here on the screen. Like this and like this one. And put that there. There we go. So it's the Mud Max. <clears throat> or Mud Mud Mad. Move this camera a bit better. Put this a little more like this. And a little bit more like this. And more like that. There we go. How's that? That's better. That's a little better. Okay. So, this is going to be the Mud Mad Assembly Kit SW01. I'm hoping that this thing is uh, not crazy hard to build because I don't want to be here all night. Hey, got Frog. How's it going? We're just going to unbox and uncrack. Pop this sucker out of the case. It's a cheater kit because it's already painted part way. Oh man. Oh, I'm having ideas already. Before I even get any further into this case, I gotta try. I gotta check something here. Okay, so that's the body. And it's like pretty much pre-cut. Wow. It's like very much almost pre-cut. That's the blue. I chose this one because I like this body style more than the little van. But what I'm wondering here is <clears throat> got a 124th. So this is the this is the uh, Charisma Coyote pop, whatever you want to call it. I wonder if the wheelbase is right on it. Uh, I need this camera to be turned more this way. There we go. It's close. No, actually, I think this body would probably even fit better on a on a Orlando Hunter, probably. Okay, so that's the body. And we'll put the stickers and stuff on it later. So into the rest of the box. Let's see what we got here. Now you guys, uh, whoa. the box is falling everywhere. Track was wet. We woke up to like freezing weather this morning. So by, the bags are not labeled with numbers or letters on them like most Tamiya kits usually are. Change this to do. I'm going to make this a little bigger for you guys here. There. There. That's a little easier. Now you guys can see my fat belly from eating. <coughs> so, I don't know what's in any of these instructions here. Oh, look at that. It comes with a jump. That's cool. So it's a cardboard jump that I got to cut out. Or roof support. Create a rooftop support for full forward rolls. Okay. I'm going to have to read it in the instructions a lot deeper on that one. Oh, there they are. There they are at the bottom. There's all our little stickers. To me, I always make some pretty cool stickers. this uh, a whole bunch of languages I don't understand important
important information concerning this kit. Oh, careful, you're going to use a knife. You might die. Careful, you might use a knife or die or who knows. Oh, the silly things that they expect you to care about. Okay, warnings. <clears throat> Known in the state of California. Oh, these tires. I've seen these tires before. So these tires, right here. Let me just pull it out. I must have this package open at one point. These are the same tires that they run on some of the rally trucks or rally cars that they make, which look pretty cool. So we'll pull all these out. Plastic, 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 plastic. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What do we got? And these are the wheels. They're almost like a military looking wheel. Eh? They kind of look very military esque. It's kind of cool. I like those. Those are neat. Well, I got an idea. Let's make this so this doesn't cast a shadow. There we go. No more shadow. <clears throat> All right. And what do we got in this bag? This bag is filled with a motor. Very tiny little motor. And gears. And all the little stuff that I'm going to have a hard time seeing. So, so, oh, that's what that is. I'm like, what the hell is that noise? It is the infamous antenna. Okay. Get this cord out of our way for you. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Step one, I need some tunes. You guys need tunes? I need some tunes. Um, let's do this. Let me put this all here. Yeah. I need tunes, 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 tunes. So while I'm looking, waiting for that to load. Bang, bang. We have safety precautions. This little dude here is famous, man. Look at him. He's always smiling, and he's always got music going on. Every time, he's always singing to himself when he drives his truck. <laughs> yeah, real plastic straw, exactly. But it would take you, like, a week to drink a drink out of it. But also known in the state of California. Jesus, these, all these little cartoon pictures look like my kids when they're fighting over something. Right? Look at that. Look at that. Turtles? What turtles? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> they're Ninja Turtles, so they should be able to avoid straws. If they can't avoid straws, then they're not very good ninjas, are they? All right, step one, bag A, which you don't know which one is bag A because it doesn't label any of the bags, but I'm going to guess it's not that one, and it's probably not this one, and it's probably this one because that looks like that, so... Let's bust this all out. Okay. Don't need that bag anymore. Ouch, staple. It's uh, I'm gonna need the good old Phillips head. Phillips head. 
Oh, there it is. There's the Phillips. The almighty Phillips to put together everything and anything made by Tamiya. The good thing about Tamiya brand is that you can pretty much assemble it all with one screwdriver. Even though they use the worst screws on the planet. Is there a letter on the mold? Yeah, there probably is. And I'll probably find it here shortly. You are correct, sir. There is a letter. It is a letter A. And we are looking for letter A. So we're doing good here. Step one, we're success. And staple, just got me. Okay. And gears. Mm -hmm. The gears have got to be the ones that are in this bag. I don't see gears anywhere else. So... Okay, so this is uh, a bunch of gears and shims and plastic bushings, it would appear. And this is a servo saver. And this is more gears. And this is probably all the hardware for the entire kit. And our super high powered motor. And parts bag C. And the fluorescent bright yellow, well, not fluorescent, but yellow and up. Oh, there's magnets in there. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> All right. Let's cut one of these open. Scissors. Bits and pieces. All over. All right, so we have, I believe it's this piece that we need. And this is A8, which I think is actually this guy here. And I don't know if any of you guys ever play Warhammer or anything, but these are my super expensive Citadel, way overpriced screw cutters, which have now now live a life of cutting apart Tamiya plastics. Because why not? Ooh, oh, don't lose those. Don't lose those. That would be very bad, okay? All right. Me two seconds. I gotta get some tunes playing here. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Um, what can I put on? Let's do. Okay, so in theory, I should be able to play this without getting a copyright strike. And if I do get a copyright strike, I'm going to be pissed. And I will tell these guys they are liars. But we'll start with this. Where's my cast button? There, now I got some tools. Something to listen to so I don't go mentally insane. Okay, so we got this one, this one. Put it up with that other piece. Okay, there's this piece here. <clears throat> this is the other piece that appears to be on the sprue. What is this one? This one is A9, which would be. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Not the piece I need yet, so don't worry about it. Let's go with this guy. Oh, and some pins. Probably in this bag A. Oh, uh, let's see if I got a parts bin I can put these in. Yeah, we'll use this one with the spacers. I'll use the rest of it for this. <clears throat> okay, so what do we got in here? This appears to be all of our pins. This is uh, Tamiya Grease high tech stuff. Super high end. It was like a bag of potato chips and end up with it all over the floor. You just see it happening now. Okay, we'll do that one there. Try to keep the bag separated into there. At least into separate compartments. There we go. There we go. Hey. I'm going to lose a part. Don't worry about it. I guarantee you I will lose a part. All right. Okay. Let's put this over here. We're not going to need the stickers for a while, so I'll put the little parts bin over here. The wheels over here. So there's a BA-13, and I'm going to assume a lot of the time their pictures are the same size as the parts, so I think these are the ones we need. Um, I don't want to use black grease. Let's use this stuff. Okay, so I'm not going to use just Tamiya grease because every single time you get a build kit, they all give you a bunch of grease and i like using this more whitey grease than this stuff um it's all the same it all does the same job it all makes things slippy slippy because that's a g3 this is g3 there you go okay Pause. Towel. Oh, I did get my parts, by the way, for my sledge. Got them yesterday. They arrived. <clears throat> okay, I think that's G3. And if I'm wrong, you guys can laugh at me later. I'm a big boy, I can handle it. Quite certain that goes in there. This goes in here, like this. And this one, where's this? Holy crap, I lost one already. No, I didn't. There it is. Okay. Goop this guy up. Maybe not that much. Not that much. Okay, well, it means I got to open two bags of this. We'll stick you there for a second. It's interesting they package them up in separate bags. But I'm going to assume it means that you can buy all these parts separate. Okay, before I lose all these tiny little gears that are flying all over the place here, I'm going to put these into. A compartment in my little build tray here. Hmm. That feels like very heavy plastic. That's empty. Oh, see, I almost lost that one. But we've been looking for that one for an hour. Okay. So, I 
Okay, that's that part, that part. Okay, now I need the other half of this thing, which is the A9, which is this guy here, which says A9. Okay, so I don't see any other gears in the instructions here that say they need to go in here. Like that. There's another little gear hiding here. It must be outdrives. Yep, they are. They're outdrives. Dog bone catcher. Jeez. Those are going to be probably too big to fit in there. I'll put them in that bag. There. Put these in here. Okay, so according to the instructions, I just got to screw these two together now. Okay, well, that fit together decent. Now, hardware is going to be in this bag. So this is calling for 3 by 8 BA2s. So it's probably going to be these dudes here. Those look like they're both the right ones. I need four of them. Yeah. I saw one drop and you took the big one out of the bag. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't see anything on the floor. But you guys can laugh at me later while I'm trying to find them. <laughs> if I don't have them all. I admit it. You guys will be laughing. Right. And this is super high quality plastic. It's the highest quality plastic ever. All right, okay. You know, that's really bad. I actually charged this thing up because I was going to, you know, use it for doing a build, but I just realized I don't have a Phillips head for this guy. So here I am stuck using this. I don't know if I'd trust it anyways. I would probably strip it. I'd probably end up stripping through one of these plastic housings and ruining my fun time. Now, Aaron built one of these. I don't know how long it took him to build his, but I'm sure he's going to tell me it was faster than me. <clears throat> and unfortunately for me, there's going to be video documented proof. Of how long it took me. So Aaron's not here, so we're going to go with I did it faster. It's just going to be that simple. I'm just going to, I did it faster. Ha, ah, I can't prove it. I did it faster. All right. Okay. Okay. So that's put together. Now we have this big gear and this long shaft, which I'll durable again. And it's going to go through this way. I think I want to actually put a little extra on here because I think I need these, more of these. Let's put this here for a second. Here's I need more of these. These are G3s. G3s are going to go over there again. 
But I think I need them to actually stick to the, the end of this because I think it's got to go in on the end. Let's do this. Whoa. Okay, there's one. And this is going to sit like this. It can't be that side. It's got to be this side. Ah, I see. So I think this is going in. Okay, it feels like it. My kids did not come home from their sleepover. So their dog is over here limping. What are you looking for, Rocky? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Come here. They have the worst separation anxiety from their kids. Actually, almost funny and sad at the same time. Oh, you bugger. Oh, it's still there. Okay, there we go. It's in. Oh, it's in. Okay. And then these ones need to be on here. And here. Move excess. Yeah, yeah, we did that already. Okay, now there's a Tania labeled cover, which would be this guy. Doesn't really say which. It says A2, but uh, I think you can tell by the Tania logo which one it is. Okay. Okay. No rattling noises. That's a good sign. More BA2 screws. So that'd be these big black guys again. Well, not black, but they're like a they're like a black shiny chrome. I have to wonder how much money they paid to make them look like that. I didn't. I didn't. Never mind. I don't understand why they're shouldered. Probably because I'm putting it together wrong or something, but we'll find that out the hard way. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. On to step three. Really? That's it? So hold on. Three. Okay, so we have this funny looking thing. This step three. that we're already into motor, mounting the motor up look how fast this is going i actually tried to sell one of these kits to a customer today and i said to him you're in luck because i'm going to put one of these together on a live stream tonight so then you could watch it and then he decided that his kid would get bored too easy and i went oh boo. okay one Okay, one of these packages must have my opinion in it. It's not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not 
with that one either. Is it in here? I wonder if it's a plastic pinion. Sixteen tooth pinion gear. It doesn't say or show a picture of it. I'm gonna bet that it's this guy. Probably press fit, but we'll wait till I find it. Because I gotta mount this first anyway. So BA1. BA1 is a screw. Which is not in that kit. It's probably that one there. BA1. BA1. Does that look like a BA1? This looks like a BA1. BA. Close enough. <clears throat> okay. Motor slips in. Oh, what's this? Do I have two choices? Oh. Oh, I see. I get 16 or 18. It's going to be that kit. What do I want to put in? Probably 16. But if I'm going to be racing against Aaron, maybe I want to put in the 18. Do I have an 18? It's got to be these. It's got to be these. These look very pinion esque. They also look like they're shorter, though. Can I read it. There's no writing on there. Are they the same size? They're the same size. So that can't be it. I don't think. Look in this bag. Magnets and tiny little screws. T wrench. T wrench and some springs. That's not it. Back over this one. Put you back over here. I'll lose that one too. Yellow plastic and zip ties are not in my bag. More hardware, not my bag. And got to be those gears. Got to be. Got to be. Got to be. Gotta be I just don't know what size I'm actually getting because they're not marked very well. <clears throat> One does look a little smaller than the other, but yeah. what are you doing? I have a dog down here grunting away, scratching herself. That was bag C. I don't think we really need this one yet. We haven't get into that one too early. Okay. I'm going with this. So let's assume we're going into 16. So 16 is going to be this one. you guys if you ever use magnetized screwdrivers which work really good in some cases but i find that when you're building a tamiya truck <laughs> i find them not to work very good because you'll get you put the screw in like this and then you'll touch this and it'll pull it out whereas the non-magnetized ones don't or i don't know maybe have a magnetized one and a non-magnetized one that might be a cool idea too All right. I'm telling you, I'm thinking this is it. 
I'm just assuming it is. I'm just going to push it off. Because there is no, there's no flat spot on this motor. Push into position shown. I'm going to do it this way. Push. Holy. You guys' hands ever cramp up when you're doing things? Mine cramp up all the time. My kids tell me it's because I'm old. I say thanks. Thanks for pointing it out. Okay, how far in is this supposed to go? It just basically goes till it's flush on the end. All right. This is the ESC motor com or ESC and uh, receiver combo. I'm going to throw in this thing just because it's what I got right, right now, and I think it'll fit in here nicely. Okay, I think it's kind of in there. Probably not enough. Push it on this. Mind the knocking. It's not working because I need a bigger hammer. That's why. I think we're good enough, but I'll just leave that for later. So we'll hang it on hard. Well, maybe not. Looks like I got to put it in right now. <laughs> Black screws, BA1, BA1, BA16, you geared. This is 16. Oh, it's the big long ones. BA16, BA16, winner, winner. I stay away from Phillips head screws. Like, I've literally taken entire kits. And if there's a Phillips head screw, I've gone through the entire kit, ordered a whole new kit of screws and not done the build on it because of it. But that was just because it was intermixed. The only advantage to doing these Tamiya kits like this one here is that the whole kit is all Phillips head. And this kit is really not... This isn't really that big of a deal. <laughs> I'm, I'm only going to assemble this guy once, and then I'm going to run it till it breaks, and then that'll be the end of the story for this little kid. <clears throat> All right, options. Yeah, options. Okay, so this part is done. Now it looks to me like they're going to start building some axles. There's going to be a bag here with some dog bones. Bag B. No, there's no dog bones in bag B. All right, well. Universal shafts. Hmm.
Huh, shit, they are plastic. Here I'm looking for metal pieces, and they're this. They're these guys. This is a extremely high end kit. Fit and finish and the tolerances are just bleh, freaking beautiful. You've got to be <clears throat> really. So you're telling me that I'm supposed to put a set screw into this? It's just plastic. So you best not screw that up and put it in too tight, because mm -hmm. you're gonna uh, split this in a sucker. So there's one. Look at that! Holy. Now I'm gonna be terrified. Now I have bad luck with these things on when they're metal. Never mind bending them in when they're little plastic things. Hmm. So they recommend a two mil hex wrench. BA five is going to three by three. Oh, look at that! Look at that! There they are, right there. Uh, where is my five? Okay. Now where is that one? Oh, that's got. To be See a plastic dog bone here? No. Oh, there they are. Wow, they're so small. They are so small, they look like they're... Can you even see that? There's the dog bone. Can't even see the ends on it. So is this supposed to go? Oh, I see. Okay, so it does have a little plastic piece in there that locks. And then this is supposed to go over here, like so. And all this is supposed to do, you know, just do this super light till I feel the bottom. I think in there. Yep, I think that's it. Okay, here goes the high stress part. Here goes the high stress part. Oh, my tongue just not uh, oh, I wasn't that bad. Okay. It wasn't that bad. Okay, and then I need the other half of these. by the recommendations because I don't want to break this in the build during the build. Look at that. Their recommendations actually worked, you know, for a company that's been making RC cars and such and models and stuff for I don't know, 50 plus years. Been making them for a long time. I guess they know a little bit of something, something. <laughs> I can't believe how small these things are. Oh, 
Well, I don't have to invest in any Loctite, that's for sure. Because all we're doing is going into plastic on everything. Mm -hmm. What? What are you hearing? Are you grunting at me because you think I'm going to feed you food? My kid's dog, all it does is eat and turn around. And I lucked out. They just, they're staying at a friend's house, so I don't have to deal with this. But now i got to watch the dog who thinks that it's time for me to feed them. Which they have a bowl of food, and they don't normally get people food at all. Okay, we got those two done. But there she is, sits there and grunts. All right. Wow. Look at that. We're uh, a quarter of the way through the book, and we're only, um, what? <laughs> we're 45 minutes in. Holy crap. Okay, so I could go faster, but what's the point? You guys got somewhere to be? I don't. So these pieces here are the steering knuckles, or whatever you want to call them. And they actually feel like they're made out of a slightly softer plastic. This stuff here is a lot more brittle. You can actually see a difference in them. You can see a difference in the texture. This one's more a flat, more rubbery-ish. This one's pretty hard. Brittly and shiny. Brittly is a technical term. <clears throat> it takes years of uh, high-end education to learn that term. And here I am sharing it with you. G2. Two. There we go. So these are all G2s. I mean, I need, I need four of those. These are precision, high-end, precision, high-end ceramic plastic pushings. See what I did there? Uh, okay, I want to see what it looks like. Yes. I already know that I'm going to wish that I hadn't done that. Way. <laughs> but I'm a dumbass. Okay. Oh, that's some tight tolerance there, man. Woo! Woo! Precision. So, God Frog, what are you working on tonight? Other than, I mean, it's got to be what, ten o'clock your time? You're in Quebec, Quebec. here well that's fantastic that I get to use the second so it, so it is luckily even though I broke it last week MIP 
Step up your quality, please. Okay, so we got one is going to go on this end. Like so. Now, there's an aftermarket option part you can buy for this. Which, when I ordered all these things, they didn't have more than one of them in stock. But all it is is a little plastic piece. And it links the front axle to the rear axle so that when the thing's doing a wheelie and driving around, it can actually, you can steer it and control it. So I thought, that's kind of cool. I want to do that. And then I discovered that, no, I can't do that because they don't have enough of them. But then Aaron was the one who bought the other one. And when he bought the other one, he grabbed that little plastic piece and he traced it out onto a piece of paper, I believe. And I should be able to cut it out and replicate it from a piece of thick Lexan or something, I hope. So that I can get my cool wheelie action going on because wheelies are cool. Okay. That, 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 that. Oh, where are we BA5, where are we doing that? Ah, I see. Where did those go? Where are they using this one? BA15. They're the big clips. So where were they? I'm going to say they're there. I'm going to say that these are them. Oh my god. What is my deal? So that's kind of in there just to help hold that together. And I'm going to assume there's a reason why they did that. So I'm going to do it just because. All righty. Okay, next. C1. Hi. What do you want? What do you want? All right. Come say hi. Oh, come say hi. Okay, you going to say hi to everybody? There's nothing here you want. There's nothing here you want. Is there? What do you want? What do you want? Right? Pomeranian dash hound. So. Uh, can you look up? No, you're not. No, you're not coming back up in my lap. I gotta finish building this thing. You're just noses out of joint because your boy's not going. That's why. Right? Go ahead and lay down. There's a bed right there for you. You want me to move your bed? Let me move your bed. Ugh, come here. Lay right here. Okay. Go ahead, lay right there. Go ahead, lay right there. Don't get underneath my feet because you're going to get rolled over. Okay. These little plastic balls, I'm going to assume, are not in that. They're not in that. I don't see anything here. Oh, whoa, there they are. Holy. I think I looked. Those are crazy small. Let's look here. One. A two. Now, does it say that I need to clean them up real good? I like that. Snap. It's going to go together and it's going to snap. And this is uh, C11. What's this guy? C11. Okay, there we go. See what? Whoa. Oh. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, well they don't they don't snap like the picture says. That's disappointing. I was just looking forward to that satisfying snap. It didn't happen. You're gonna get rolled over, you crazy dog. Crazy dog. Okay, so that's that piece. The other piece is this B8. This is A. Where's B? There it is. Oh. Okay. This is some high tech stuff. Okay, that was there. Three eights. We're going down on that side. Let this go that way. Let's go that way. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh, that went together easy. Next. Snap, snap, snap. Now they think it's these long ones here. I believe. We're going to go down through BA6 with three mil washers, which are going to be this guy here. Oh no, these are the big ones. These are these ones. There's a three mil washer. And here's another three mil washer. And then BA7 is going to be these little washers. That guy and that guy. So from the top, get your big washer. Wow, that is a uh, snug fit on that washer. I'm going to tighten it. Oh, this is where the springs are supposed to be. I always see one bag with springs, so it's got to be these ones. With all my high end. Tools that come in the kit. Well, I don't want to flex too much with all the epicness on this build, but you know, those are my springs, so don't get too jealous about all my travel, all my suspension travel I'm going to get out of this. It's kind of a big deal. Yeah, I know. Okay, plastic. I believe this is supposed to go on the top here. I like a so. Right? You guys will tell me if I'm doing something wrong, right? Right? Oh, look at that. Wow, there's a lot of travel there. That's crazy. The flex is going to be unbelievable. Oh, did I just put the wrong one on the wrong side? Yep, I put the wrong one on the wrong side. Oh, well. You guys didn't tell me. What the hell? Come, you guys didn't tell me. It's putting it on the wrong side. Unbelievable. You guys have one job. One. I just can't work under these conditions. Is 
I'm going to start taking some old guy medication or something. My fingers just keep cramping up. Okay, there. Wow. Thanks, guys. Thanks for showing me. Somebody's been sleeping on my feet tonight, eh? Alright. Somewhat magnetic. Not enough, though. Here's one part. Rings, 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 and moving on. Next will be these bad boys. And all the gears that Terry says I lost. <laughs> You better be wrong, man. I hope you're wrong. This is going to suck if I lost one. Now, that's not for you to eat. That's a, that's a staple. Yeah, you can't eat that. Okay. Next. So we need this piece. And we need these G1s, which are these big guys here, I believe. G1s. Energy work. Okay, G one, G one. It's only showing you put it on the one side. Really? Just a mouthpiece over there. I don't know if you guys can hear her grunting or not. But she's busy running her mouth. That's what she's doing. <laughs> okay, so that one. And I'll grease this guy up. Put on this one. Okay, so there's one small pin. So there's two more small pins in here. This guy and this guy. And I believe they're supposed to run in here into the middle. Oh, I see what going on here. I would have guessed that there was one. There's the other one. And we need two of these big guys. These guys. Gone? What? What do you mean gone? You can't leave? I'm all by myself. I went to the store today. I had to work today. You know, adulting crap. I hate that. And, uh, yeah. Nobody came to visit. So disappointing. Nobody came. I was there. I was all alone. I was all by myself. Who sang that? Green Day. That's what it was. Oh, that one's going to be good or good. Oh, yeah, that one's really going to be good or good. Oh, yeah. That's got some of it. Oh, I got her good. as well. Do what you gotta do. There we go. Oh, they do 
returns. Okay. Not real well, but they do. Okay, so I got three, three. Supposed to be more on this side? Must be. Don't look my fingers goobered up here. Won't be able to read this part of the instructions ever again. Oh. oh. top piece and we now have a gear diff which is not the uh, smoothest running in the world but it's all plastic gears with a bunch of stuff in there and there's like really not a lot there for tolerances so that's what you get next okay I'm gonna do this one a little easier this time. Not a lot to the transmissions on these things. I think I, I think this is all the gears in the entire thing. One, two, six of these little plastic gears in each one. And if I lost any, it's Terry's fault. Everybody blame Terry because he left the room. Okay. Yeah, Gord came in. I don't know if you guys know. Gord is Vernon B. Is uh, Vernon RCBC. He came in and delivered me a coffee today, which is kind of nice of him. All the other guys that didn't deliver me a coffee. <laughs> Boo. Yeah. You know, if you do enough of these builds, I don't know why anybody would ever need to buy any of this assembly grease stuff. Because there's always way more than you need in every kit. And you always end up with these leftover. Well, I guess Tamiya is the one that doesn't. Tamiya makes them in these little bottles. I like the companies that do them in these little jars, which this, I believe, was MST. Might have been, might have been G-Man. But I like it when they come in those little jars because you can save them, use them for later. Okay, ba 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 boom, ba 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 boom, ba 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 boom. Okay, so now we're gonna build the. So we have. Transmission. And then I guess this is supposed to slide into here. Like this. That is some high tech stuff. Oh yeah. I see how this is supposed to go. This is supposed to go into here. I'm facing this right way. Oh, I'm not. Oh, good thing I checked. That's supposed to go there. And one of these housings, which I believe it says it is. This is A4. There's four. There's number four.
So I had some interesting. I had some interesting things today. I had a truck that came in, pissed around with it. There's a track I so pissed around with it, pissed around with it. Finally, I gave up, and I was just about to just throw in the towel and say, "Screw it." I cannot figure out what the hell is wrong with this thing. So I thought to myself, "Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll um." The light keeps blinking randomly at the end, so the customer said that he'd put brand new batteries in, which he did. Not saying he was lying. He said he put brand new batteries in, so I said, well, whatever, I'll just try and grab another fresh set of batteries. So I grabbed a fresh set of batteries, put them in the transmitter, and everything worked just fine. So moral of the story is, change all the batteries when you start having electrical binding issues with any kind of control. First thing you do, change the batteries. And he literally took the batteries that he had. When he came and picked up, he told me that he'd take them right fresh out of the package straight into the truck. So he probably got a, a dud pack of batteries. For you know, obviously, when you buy them by packs of 50 or 48 or whatever they come in, wherever you're at, there's a strong possibility that there's going to be a dud or two in there. Had the same scenario once with uh, Fly Sky Radio. Kept on going into, kept on going into uh, safe, fail safe mode, nonstop. Fail safe mode, fail safe mode, fail safe mode. And the guy owned it. Said, "Well, I've just charged it. Well, you obviously you haven't charged it enough." So. <laughs> It's in fail-safe mode, and we plug in the battery. It's one of the ones that had the lithium chargeable batteries in the back. Charge it up. Turn it all on, and everything worked just fine. There's another. That one we spent the better part of the day. I had me looking at it. I had, I think Aaron was there that day. Every freaking person I knew. Where the hell did I put that other board of parts? Oh no, Terry, you lost another part. Maybe. I wanted to add a gyro to a car. What would be the least expensive way to do that? Um, the least expensive way to do that is to do you have the radio system already? If you have the radio system already, then this would not be the most expensive way to do it. But if you do not have the least, the uh, radio already, the easiest and cheapest way to do it is to buy. Uh, where in the hell is it? Where is it? The cheapest way to do it is to buy a um, Fly Sky, like uh, GT5 or something. They have a gyro built into the receiver. And um, you can also do it with some of the ones like uh, Spectrums with ABC and stuff like that. I think that the Spectrums with ABC are a little harder to program for gyro effect. Are you talking about putting it into a drifter? Or are you talking about just putting in a gyro so it's easier to drive? Because if you want a gyro just so it's easy to drive, Traxxas with their TSM works. Any radio gyro combo setup that you can find, that would be your cheapest option. Your next cheapest option would be to buy a, a servo from Boom Racing, whoever. There's a numerous, there's a number of different companies that make servos that you could use to, they're well, not servos gyros that you can hook in uh yeah racing makes a nice cheap one but i've seen lots of guys skip right past all those steps with a brand new fly sky gt5 radio which i don't have one here anymore i know fly sky does it i've never attempted to do it with the abc because i don't run abc uh and tsm I don't want to run Traxxas radios in anything other than Traxxas trucks, so I never really tried that either. What are you looking at? 
You're acting like there's something down here. Are you looking for food? Looking for food. On that point, you gotta find this piece. <sighs> okay, let's see here. Right there, in front of my face. Travis, you dumbass. It's right there, right in front of my face. There we go. So this is another one. Put all that together, put all that together. Then we grab the C11 again, which is the 11. And this C1. And this one shows that I gotta put these stupid little ball things in this one with this super. See how they pre calibrated this plastic? See that? High end. High, high end. I know some guys watch. Some other live builds and stuff. But honest question: If you guys actually want to watch an entire build from start to finish on a regular basis, because you know some builds can be hours and hours and hours. And that's more stamina than I have when it comes to watching builds. Or would you want rather watch a live build in sections and keep them to, you know, two, two, two and a half, two or three hour? segments of a build um i know like if you watch any harley designs or anything like that he builds stuff and there was one i was watching i think it was like an eight hour build all one stream, one continuous stream there's no freaking way i don't think i could sit here and do an entire eight hour build my uh my need to get out and go run something for a bit would overwhelm me. Okay, let's go from the top. Why are these here? What are these gonna do? I wonder. Once again. I put this together, this piece, and it did not make the satisfying snap sound that it shows here in Chinese writing, so that's disappointing. It's broken up into your normal live stream links, so I'd probably watch it. If it was a full, like, 6 point I'd miss parts, yeah, exactly, right? So I think that's probably a good thing I'm going to try and keep builds to be... Uh, you know, if it's a big build, like maybe when I do the BRX01, I might stretch that one to a three-hour segment and then a three-hour segment just to get it done. Well, not only so that it's not so boring for you guys, but if I'm holding off on doing a build between segments, like, and I only do two hours at a time, it could take me two months to build a truck, some of these trucks depending on how detailed we're getting with it and how far in we get. And that would kind of suck. Okay, that, 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 that. That's there, that's there. Oh, I know where this is. Okay, so this is going to be the other set of axes. I got to build another set. Next. As much as I like building them, I want to go run them. And I don't want to take all my time building something just so that uh, by the time it's done being built, the snow's here again and I don't get to run it. Or something stupid like that. So these can't be made out of a different plastic, I don't think. 
because they're coming off the same screw, so they're going to be the same plastic, right? But they feel different. It's weird. Super weird. These parts are not shiny, and the rest of the plastic on the screw is. I don't know how they managed to pull that off. Far smarter people than me. Okay. Can I do this part from memory, or do I got to look at instructions again? <laughs> I agree. I am not rich enough to build stuff, and I would love to do it all the time. And sometimes, though, I find that it's actually cheaper just to build things. And I'm almost, I'm looking at some of the stuff I got on the wall. The wall of shame over there. And the wall of shame back there. The wall of shame that's over there. Sometimes I wonder if I should just start cannibalizing vehicles after. If they're not getting used, I should just start cannibalizing them and making usable stuff out of them. You know, like I have a, I have a Viterra. A sender my son got for Christmas when he was eight, seven or eight. Hey, Tizzy. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? You down here to say hi? Yeah? Or did you pee on the floor upstairs and you're trying to hide? This is Tizzy. All right, Kate. You're right. Everything is RTR now or rollers. Yeah, I don't. I'm not a fan of the roller thing. I am and I'm not. I, mean, I like it because you can build a truck with the electronics that you want in it. So that's a huge perk. But I don't like it because you can't build the truck. And... 30 whatever years ago when I got into this. Was it? Mm, 85. I think 85 was when I built my first one. Uh, you can see him up there. No, he's way up there in the corner. He said just out of the screen. I'll show you guys another time. When I built my first car with my dad in 1985. That was kind of the whole big deal about it. It was just so cool because you were building the car and you actually learning all the things about it. And, you know, when I decided I wanted to modify that car, I didn't need to go in and ask somebody, what should I do to this? I already knew because I'd had, I'd already put the whole thing together. So I already knew how the whole thing worked. As I put it together, I discovered the parts that were going to, that I thought were going to fail. And I did that through the entire build process. And it's kind of, whenever anything did break on it the first time I ran it. Okay, let me say, nothing broke on it the first time I ran it. But, you know, when things did break on it, I knew what was breaking. And I knew what the problem was. It was quick and easy to identify. Because I had a pretty good idea it was going to break when I put it together. You know, from the super high quality of the stuff was. Hmm. Okay, so I need these ones. Yes, planes and helicopters used to all come unassembled. And it, honestly, the really good plane kits nowadays still come unassembled. So that you can build them up. So that is one perk to planes. I'm not a big fan of planes and helis. Mostly because I suck at flying. So I don't try to convince myself that I can drive that I can fly the stupid things. I can't. I suck. I suck hard. Like if I take a plane out or anything that flies in the air, other than a drone, drones are easy. But if I take anything else out in the air. People can make bets on how quickly I'm going to crash. And if your bet is any more than two minutes, you're going to lose. 
because I'll crash it within two minutes. And uh, I remember guys with helicopters building. I, don't know, I had a friend that had a $6,000 into this helicopter, carbon fiber blades and the motor and everything. It was a nitro because back then that was the cool thing. You had this thing, nitro, super cool. He was bragging about it to me one day. And then he stopped bragging about it. And there we are at work. And I'm like, hey, what's going on, man? Did you fly that thing? And his answer was um, no. And I'm like, oh, so you're still building it? He's like, well, yeah, well, no, I don't know. So, yes, I did. I did try to fly it, but I can't call what I did flying it. I didn't really fly. It kind of went straight up, straight up about six feet off the ground and went sideways and wham, right down into the ground again. So he decided that it was a better idea to invest in a very expensive simulator program so he could learn how to fly it properly, which is probably something he should have done in the first place. He literally went from zero experience to flying a $6,000 helicopter and crashing said helicopter in, I think it was like 10 seconds. This was back before they, everybody was recording everything and putting it on YouTube or <laughs> TikTok, though. So didn't even get to monetize that, to make it fun at all. Couldn't even tell everybody, look. Here's the video of it. It's hilarious. Watch. Doesn't even have that. It doesn't even have that to fall back on. How sad is that? Okay. And my fingers crunch up. Okay. Now it's going in there and there. And my other black piece that I just did. Oh god, I lost it. No, there it is. Okay, so this is the one that's got the ball pins coming down. This one needs these screws. And this is supposed to be facing downwards. And our screen. And this one's supposed to be here. Should be this one. I guess this one right this time. It's not magnetic, but it is magnetic. Cool. Okay. That's seriously effective suspension. Wife is different than my wife would be because your wife might laugh my wife because she's already experienced it enough with rc stuff her reply would be what the hell did you break this time and i would probably end up sleeping on the couch for a bit so sometimes in some hobbies the best investment for your hobby is a very comfortable couch. Words of wisdom. We 
because there's some hobbies out there that you're just going to spend way too much time in the doghouse. <laughs> I already put that together, didn't I? I don't have two sets of those to put together. That one's good. Cool. I kind of feel like this is repeating itself, isn't it? I was supposed to put those pieces in that one, too. Oh, you dummy. You didn't put those ones in either. Or is this just a copy of the same pages? Yeah, whatever. Let's go fumble through this one too. So that one's so that one didn't require those screws. This one did. All right, okay, well, I guess I'm doing it right. Probably doing it wrong, but whatever. I'm going to say I'm doing it right. You guys can't say otherwise because I can't hear you. <laughs> I was going to go there. Hmm. I think I might have to swap those around later. Okay, let's look at the pictures. Stupid pictures again. That goes in there for sure. This is going to go in the top of this again. So it can't go anywhere else. That can't go like that. There's no way that can go there. Did I put those on the wrong way? Am I being a dope brain? No, I'm not. I'm really. Hmm. Hmm. Those seem to interfere. Unless there's supposed to be a little bit of slop there, maybe. No. There's no freaking way that goes wrong. Okay. Back to instructions. <laughs> when I bring home a new RC, at first I used to get the what the hell is that and now i get what the hell is that strictly from the look she gives me i don't even she doesn't even have to open her mouth i can read it in her face i can just see it come oozing out of her like she's going to kill me which is entertaining for everybody but me there's just no way that can really fit in there without interfering with those. Well, yeah, it does. I just have to put it together right, dummy. Oh, God, I'm such a dummy sometimes. Such a freaking dummy sometimes. Okay, let's go there, there, there. Look at that. Wow. It goes together much better when you do it right. That'll be the bumper. Where's that classic piece I need? There it is. Oh, there it is. All right. Boom. Okay. So that's somewhat in there. The nice thing about building this little guy is it's quite small and fits on the table very easily and I'm not fighting to make room for it. Working on the sledge is a little tougher. 
because you know it takes up a lot of bench space. Okay, there's that piece. I think I need to get some of the arms out of here. I don't know what the durability on this sucker is, but I can tell you <laughs> it's not high. Okay, let's uh, this here. So these are going down. So we have this and this and the little screw hole. Note direction. I'm trying to note the direction. Stop yelling at me, machine. Stupid instructions. Okay. Okay, so that's going down and to the back. Down and to the back. And then we'll say down and to the back. And this is the piece that's going on here. And I'm just going to give this a little smurge of this high-end grease while I have it out. Smurge is another technical term. And turn these all up. Why is that not lining up? Oh, I mean, what is not lining up here? Ah, I see. Okay, so that's just going to go in there. With our, which screws are supposed to hold that together? BA2s. It's these guys again. Oh, look at that. I got a puppy dog hair on here. Look at that. I got a puppy dog hair. Come here, dog hair. Look at that. Right there, she's here. There, yeah, she's right there. She's curled up. Like a little brown ball. She's happy now. I think we need to drop a pinion on my new hobby wing. Just climbing about the 14th, yes. Oh, no, so, so, so. Gotta catch up. I'm talking about how much I wanted to get a crawler. <laughs> Another one, yeah. Yeah, every time. I, and my problem with crawlers is I like to get. I like. For crawlers, I really like doing crawler builds. I find them enjoyable. My wife, not so much. But she just looks at it like a money pit. And I'm not going to lie, it's really honestly part of the reason I started a YouTube channel is because uh, I like building them and I figured if I can build them and run them and do RC stuff and, I don't know, maybe go somewhere with it, that'd be cool. I have some ideas of some things I want to do, RC-related type stuff, but... Uh, I'm not going to spit those out until I actually do them because I think they're cool ideas and I don't want somebody else scooping them. And it feels like every time I think of an idea, somebody else does it. I hate that. I don't even, not because not they heard me or they stole it from me, but it's almost like they literally thought of the idea at the same time I did. But they beat me to it. So. Wow, that is a super. Super. There's no way that's right. It's got to sit in there better. Why is that not sitting in there? Maybe I have the wrong bumper. Did you ever think of that, you dummy? 
Maybe you're putting the front bump on, or you're supposed to put the back bump on. Let's see what, right? Two holes, two holes. Oh, this is the wrong end. I'm working on the wrong end. Duh. Duh. Okay, let's flip this over. Let's do the front. Oh. Come here. So I'm trying to put the wrong bumper on. Because I jumped through the instructions. <laughs> oh, wow. This has got like a super cool wheelie bar. That's epic. Freaking epic. Okay, that piece, B16, is going to be. Oh, it's got to be this guy. B16, there it is. That is so cool. Look at that. Look at that. It's freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Two again. Uh oh, I'm gonna need more of these. Houston, need more. Oh, see, there now it's feeling magnetized. It didn't feel magnetized earlier. Really. Stupid. Yeah. So you wanted to film that? I, I have this one truck. And what the hell, I'll tell you guys, it's a freaking Corrali. Um, I had high hopes for Corrali. Very high hopes. I'm not overly impressed with any of the ones I've got so far, except for the Sketter. The Sketter has been pretty freaking amazing. I can't believe the crap I put that through. Like that, that little Sketter, I've had it run side by side with the Max. And same thing. It'll handle all the same abuse. For the most part. Okay, so that's the bad part now. Yeah, those little black pieces are supposed to be. Which piece is it? Okay, it's this piece. It's that piece. Where's that piece? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Not doing a very good job of reading, well, reading instructions again here. Okay. To get in there. Get in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Wheelie bar action. Here we go. So, that's supposed to go up from there. Close to there. Now, what size are these? These are the big long guys. So, if these are big long guys, the BB1s. Hmm. Well, that's odd. I haven't seen any BB1 size stuff here. Don't know that Oh, they're there. Red Loctite instead of blue. I have a funny story to go with that. I was telling you guys, I uh, we bought a truck for my son. His very first truck was an Ascender. And that's a very, very capable, very good platform. It worked awesome. It still does work awesome. But uh, you can't get any parts for it anymore, so that kind of sucks. And 
so I was going to build this thing up and do all this epic stuff to it for them. And now parts are pretty much, you can't find them. I have a pile of parts, so it's not like I couldn't. But when it comes to upgrading stuff and doing, you know, it's one of those things where you, you're just going to pour money into it and it's pretty hard to sell because everybody knows that it's discontinued. So they don't want anything to do with it because it's discontinued. And they're afraid they're not going to be able to get parts, which is true. They probably won't. The only reason I have a bunch of parts is because I bought out an old hobby shop that went hard into Viterra when they first came out and had spares of everything, everything that was made by Viterra. And, uh, God, like I got enough parts. I still have enough parts here to build probably two or three more twin hammers if I wanted to. And Twin Hammers is also another really cool little platform. Lightweight. Pretty durable little truck. Very capable once you set it up properly. Um, I, mean, I remember the first time I went to a comp with my Twin Hammers, which, you know, it wasn't allowed because it wasn't a frame rail style truck. So I just ran it anyways. It was walking all over wraiths and everything. You're going to be like that, are you? Okay. I see how this is going to be. Anyway. Look at that. We got some suspension y action y stuff happening here. Loving Phillips heads right now. No, not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Okay. Now these are a2s so those are going to be these guys but i'd like to take his truck and do it all up i've got brass for it and everything but he's kind of kind of lost interest in driving it now because he's moved on to then we built uh he never built that one so we did that one as an rtr and he kind of hopped it up and he wanted to scale it up and make it really cool. And they really got into scale stuff. So everything had to be scale. So he has a winch on it and all this stuff. And he's pretty damn hard on them. And then after that, he decided he wanted to build one. So we built one together. And it was a G made, uh, G made bomb. GS, GSO1. The original G made bomb. So we built that up. He really likes that one still. It's got a revolver motor in it. And the nice thing about that one is it does, you can, you can force fit some parts off of uh, SCX 10 twos on that one. So that works kind of cool. And we put a revolver motor in it. And probably the biggest mistake I ever made is putting a revolver motor in there. Um, I'm not going to diss the performance of a revolver motor, but oh my God, the noise, the noise, because we were doing a lot of indoor crawling event type stuff. And that is absolutely the wrong motor to be using. If you're going to be doing something indoor, because it is so obnoxious, so obnoxious. Okay, I need this one over here. And of course my son if you tell him it's obnoxious, well, he just runs it more. Because, you know, that's what kids do. <laughs> What's that, Dad? Does this annoy you? 
Okay, I'll do it some more. Doesn't everybody's kid do that? Or is it just mine? Is it really just my kid that's a dickhead? Really? Okay. There. No, this is another one of those like, you know, back of page now. Absolutely did. I used to do it with my dirt bike. I grew up on a ranch. And all the horse people there, they always hated it when I went by on my two-stroke. My dirty two-stroke bike, and I'd rip down the driveway with it, and I'd freak out because it'd say it was scaring the horses. And me being the young dickhead I was, it just made me grab another fistful of throttle. <laughs> And it did not all did not always go well for me. I actually got in shit for it. But young and dumb. Then I got older and I stayed dumb. <laughs> screwdriver for this crop. Look at bottom dope. What is that one it's supposed to be another BB? CA2. Oh, well, there's a lot of hardware in this guy. Not really. <laughs> Okay. Kind of starting to look like a truck. Might get this done tonight. That's done, that's done, that's done. I'm sure I'm missing something. That's on. Can I put all the screws on that one? Yes, I did. Can I put all the screws on this one? Yes, I did. Did I put these in that? No, I did not. All right, so these are C2s. I can see these not lasting very long, as in me losing them soon. I should have four of these, right? Okay. Empty bag, don't need you. I guess everybody's got uh, Easter weekend, so. What are you guys eating? Are you having turkey? Are you having ham? Are you having roast beef? Or are you a vegetarian? <laughs> All right. That part's done. Snap, 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 snap. I love all these snap pictures in here because nothing is snapped together like the pictures. It's almost a bummer. Got those two, got those two. Oh, really? Oh, dude. Oh. Okay. I don't have the back of the blue really ones. If you ever do something sometimes and then sit back and look at it and go, my life sucks, why did I do that? Yeah, that's what I just did. Put in these big, long ass, stupid screws. And I was supposed to put the wheelie bar on first. <laughs> and they're Phillips, so 
you do a Phillips head screw too many times, you won't be able to do it anymore because that's just the nature of a Phillips head. They don't like being taken out over and over. Let's see if I can get it in this way. Bottom one. Let me take this to her. Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> oh, I love that. I never read the beginning of the instructions, but I'm halfway through the instructions. And now in this page here, it's telling me what tools I recommend. Why wouldn't you just tell me what tools you recommend right off the bat? Probably did, but. Oh, wait, no, these are the Tamiya craft tools they're recommending. So I guess they wait until you get frustrated, and then they recommend their, their fancy, super, super duper good tools. Right? Sugar Shack food. <laughs> yeah. That's all I find Easter to be, really. There's a lot of junk food and candy. It's kind of like Halloween. The only difference is, is at least at Easter, it's actually a holiday where you, it's legit and you can actually go spend time with your family and do stuff and enjoy it as a family. Whereas Halloween is kind of geared towards that. But, you know, if you're a working family and you're busy, it's not overly convenient sometimes, especially some places where the neighborhoods they want you to start trick-or-treating at five or whatever you do okay wheelie bar mounted properly this time you dumbass okay that's in that's in that's in wheelie bars in wheelie bar in give me one Okay, now I start getting more parts that I don't know which ones they are because I never looked. Yeah. Okay. We need. Oh, there's magnets in this bag. Let's put them over here. We need this guy. And this guy. And B14. Oh, no. B14. And B15. Mm. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe three and three by twelves. Maybe three. Maybe three. Maybe three is not that one. Do I have another bag of got some oh, I do here are little top hats. Nope, oh, these aren't them. Oh yes, there. They are. Okay. BB3? <laughs> Sounds like something from Star, Star Wars. Hmm. I'm going to say no. Get more over here. And there's ends of ends. Oh, this is going to go over here. Uh oh. oh. Oh, okay. Well. Anyways, I'm going for roast beef this year. Because, you know, I like roast beef. So. Oh, no one. Okay, there's one. And the 
this is going to go on the top of this down here. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Is that supposed to be a plastic piece? C5s. Uh, Cs. Why are these C things? Hopefully, this one's all metaled up first. There's C5. There's C5. So there's two, I need four of them, so I can grab the other two off. Another screw. Okay. Got that. These are BA2s, 3x8s, and these ones. I'll get these guys put together first. angle on it so note the direction I'm trying to know the direction okay this way I'm guessing this way I'm noting it oh god you dummy I'm noting it I just don't know if I'm noting it right there we go Oh dear, I did drop a piece that time. Oh, it's way over Let me go, thank oh. you. Oh. And there's the there. My head's starting to sweat. How weird is that? Must be the vid. Must have the COVID. My head's sweating. No, that's not it. <laughs> I let a kid run my... Maybe I already told you guys this. don't know. I'm going to tell you again anyways. <laughs> I let a kid run my uh, Bronco today. Obviously not that one that's up there, not the one that has the tracks on it, but the uh, 2021 TRX. God, I did it again. God, I did it again. Okay. The 2021 TRX Bronco, the yellow body. I don't really like the body color, so I wasn't too concerned about that. But he'd never driven a crawler before an RC, and he came in with his mom. He's homeschooled. And so I don't know, maybe they've never seen one. I figured, hey, whatever, I got one charged up here. Like a dumbass, I left the 3S battery in it. I should have done that. Anyways, he proceeded to drive it around um, with the whole, when I say just lightly squeeze the trigger. That is not what happened. There was no light squeezing. Ham, eggs, baked. You have eggs? Really? We do like... We do like the... Tra uh, I don't know if it's traditional for you guys, but it is for us. Pretty traditional. Um, roast beef. Uh, Yorkshire puddings. Mashed potatoes. Because I'm part Irish, so... Gotta have my potatoes. Gotta have my spuds, man. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty. I'm pretty simple. I'm a meat and potato guy. You give me a very much more than meat and potatoes, and I really could care less. Doesn't really ain't gonna do it for me. But yeah, anyways, like I was saying, this kid, <laughs> I let him drive it, and he was super excited to drive it. So that was that was worth it, totally worth it, just because of that. But <laughs> he hit the, he was hitting stuff so hard, and this is one of those things where I was looking for an excuse. I've been looking for an excuse to buy a blue body for that truck. 
as opposed to the yellow body that I got because this was one of the uh, first order ones, right? First delivery ones when Traxxas first released the 2021 Bronco. I got the first delivery and I was hoping it was red, but it wasn't. It was yellow. If it was red, I totally would have taken more care of the body, but I haven't. Um, so anyways, now they've released that blue body, which is really nice. It matches my full-size truck pretty damn close. It's a little different shade, but at least it's blue with blue. Poach the eggs and made. Oh, oh, that does sound epic. Uh, get back to my story. <laughs> you guys are making me drool. Like, literally, like I'm starting to salivate. Ah. Um, so there's this kid's ripping around with the thing, and he thinks it's pretty cool, and he's smacking it into the walls and everything. So, yeah. <laughs> Can't complain. He was having fun. Got another kid who came in today is grandpa bought him crawler because he'd been watching videos on YouTube. Old his grandpa he wanted a crawler, and wanted to go do these epic things with this crawler, which is cool. It's really cool, actually. It's a great way for grandparents to spend some time with their grandkids. And so he, he bought this crawler and then he came in because he was having a hard time getting the charger to work. So I had to show him how to get that fired up right. Because he came in and picked it up on a day when I wasn't in. And I kind of sold him the whole combo package the day before. But he hadn't really decided if it was okay yet. He needed to run it by some other people to make sure they were okay with obviously investing that kind of money in a six-year-old, five- or six-year-old. And obviously it was okay because he came in and got the truck. That's cool. But he wants to drive this thing through mud puddles and everything, and he'd never seen it before either. And he was pretty stoked. That kid was really enjoying that truck, the whole concept of it. I like seeing kids get into it. Like, really like seeing kids get into it. I'm sorry, Tiz. Did I just roll over your tail? That's why you don't lay underneath me, dummy. You don't lay underneath me. You got to me. You're not going to have much of a tail left if you keep doing that. Here, right, right there. Come say hi. Say hi. Come here. Come on. Say hi. Say hi. There you go. Uh, oh, you're going to say hi too? Everybody's saying hi. So, yeah. He was pretty excited. He was going out with his grandpa to go crawling at some point. In the next day or so. He sounded pretty excited about that. Does that look like it's that piece? A 3 by 12 That is not a 3 by 12 This one? There it is. There it is. There. Okay, which end is this supposed to be on? Some brass sleevey thingy. And then into this. Like this. Okay. I'll go with it. This appears to be the steering mechanism. Who knows? Okay. Hey, <laughs> what do we got now? Okay. This is B1. There's a one. That's the guy. see how that works now. Hmm. 
missing a brass shim. See if it's sticking to something. Not a brass shim, sorry, a top hat looking thing. Put one on here. Is this a black plastic one, maybe? Ah, yes, it is. That's why I can't find it. It's not brass. It's a D. That guy. D13. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. The uh, picture looks a lot smaller than the actual real life thing. Okay, so that's going to go into there like that. There we go. There we go. And these are going to be BB2s, which are, once again, do not over tighten. 3 by 15s BB2 and BB2. 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 Looks like a BB2. Looks like a BB2. And turn this guy around. Okay, so this, this is going to fit into here and down. That makes sense. This fits into here with this screw thingy here. This is going to be attaching to a servo, I believe. It's going to go into here and lock. If I put this in the right spot, it would work better. Okay, so is this screw coming in from the back side? Yes, it is. This one's going into here. So DB3, go over here first. Not over tight. Okay, that feels bottomed out to me. This is going to go here like so. Screws are going to go to here. Oh, yeah, 215. Yeah, it's got to take a little while. Crawling sounds boring. I can see where you're coming from with that. It's not boring. I'll tell you right now. But. Did I just put that on the other side? There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. That's neat. I don't find crawling boring. Um, but it's each their own, I suppose. It also depends on where you are and what kind of terrain you're crawling on. Because if you're crawling on easy terrain and you don't ever step it up to make it more of a challenge, then yes, it gets boring real fast. Real fast. All right. Well, normally, if I was doing a build like this, I'm not going to use that. Normally, if I was doing a build like this, I'd use the time lapse and fly through this, putting together these stupid links. Because nobody likes watching this be done. But I'm doing this live, so you guys are out of luck. Just going to have to watch me do it in slow motion. To the long one first. So I'm going to use these, although I don't know if I actually have the one I need. To run this in until it says to run it in until there's about five millimeters left. 
and I'm not squeezing this very hard, just so you guys know. I want to call that five millimeters, just because. Now we're going to put this guy on here. Now here's the interesting thing. They give you a wrench here. And they show this as working to put this together. Which, holy crap, it does. Look at that, eh? So you're... Some mill socket, that guy, just a normal one. Turn these. Isn't that cool? Look at that. It says leave one millimeter there. So we'll call that a millimeter, and I think that's going to be turned about 90 degrees, which is about there. So that's one done. That's one down. And this is going to snap on here. We'll put that on upside down, dummy. Okay. Now, can I get this on here? Without. because they're not that strong. But I don't think I really need much here. I don't think I do need more than I thought I did. Okay, where did my pliers go? I don't want to say this too loud because it'll be like, be like with my kids where I tell them, where'd you put them last time, dummies? like, oh, I don't know. Like my son today. He left. He forgot his socks. How do you forget your socks? Seem to be missing. Good stuff here. Hmm. If I were a pair of pliers, where would I be? Not on my workbench, obviously. All right, I'm just going to fight with this. I should have read that instruction before and put those on before putting this in here, and then it would have been easy to squeeze in. I could have used this thing to do it. Instead, I'll use this. I'll continue doing it this way, I'm cursing and swearing. There we go. Yay. The other side.
<laughs> Just very surprised that, that actually works so easy. Happy it does though, because it wouldn't be that easy if it didn't. Come on. Really? The way I need to be built, at least. Look at that. Wow. That is some high tech stuff. Okay. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Now apparently I need these on the back too. Ah, I see where that's going. Okay. Next two. This, this, this. Crawling for the modifications and the challenge of getting over something, but I like to go fast and so may get bored of it. So, okay, if you're into going fast and you want to, then try doing some rock bouncing style crawling. That will quench the speed demon in you a bit. But also, still do some crawling. And you can kind of split the two techniques a bit. If you have a well set up rock bouncer, you can actually kind of do both with it. Most rock bouncers are built to go fast, so. But you can do them both. If you have one that'll do low speed, just like the one to one stuff that you watch Mad Ram or. Madram 11 or high octane films, any of those ones where they go out with the one to one rock bouncers with the um, rock bouncing league in the States there. They actually have an RC side of, side of their thing too that they just started last year, which is kind of where I was, I was trying to base my rules off the same thing that they were doing. But their rules are pretty big, so we'll probably end up refining our rules a little bit more. And then they have a couple of rules that I think are kind of silly. And my rules that we're trying to make here, we're trying to make them a little bit broader so that there can be a larger, a larger group of people who can participate and join in. Hmm. Okay, so that goes there. Of course, I need to go a little more this way. Okay. A little more this way. So what are we doing live on TikTok, Gord? What were you streaming to TikTok? Were you building something or what were you doing? Yes, the rift is one. Uh, yeah, I was looking at. I think it was the rift. Yes. So I have a rift, and I love the rift. It's a fun truck. Um, I did not like the motor combo it comes with. 
but when I got mine, <laughs> I got mine once again uh, when they first released. I do that all the time because I always get one. I try to bring it home, demo it. If I like it, I sell it used. Or if I don't like it, I sell it used. If I like it, I keep it and run it and try to do more with it. Maybe do some upgrades to it or something of the sort. Anyways, um, yeah, I did my the first Rift. And then they came out with a build kit after the fact. So I actually took all the electronics out of mine because I didn't, I don't like the stock electronics. So then I put a sensor DSC in because I wanted something that would actually uh, have some, a little bit more control. So I put a hobby wing ESC co combo in it, which works pretty good. Um, I think I might, might take it out and put a castle combo in. I'm not sure yet. There's times when I want more snap than that combo wants to give me, like right now. Whereas the hobby wing combo is extremely smooth with that FOC control. No idea what the verdict is on Kelly's. I haven't talked to him yet. So you just have to wait. <laughs> All right, okay. So we got wheels, 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 axles. Okay. That part's done, that part's done. I might be missing something, but I don't care. On to the next page. Oh, what is this? Battery case. Oh. <laughs> I do not know. Okay, so the next piece we're going to build here apparently is a battery case. So we need which pieces? These are extras. This needs to be. I don't feel like I don't have this. Not much. D. This is A. Where's the D one? B. That's C. This is C. That's nothing. You're going to get run over. Some kits do not include the battery case. In such case, proceed to stop. Uh -huh. <laughs> that totally explains it, because maybe mine doesn't. Proceed to step what? 25. 24. 25. 25 is telling me that I need to install the electronics now. Okay. 
So I'm assuming, Gord, if you did a live stream to TikTok, that you must have fixed your internet. So that's a good thing. Let's put it over here like so. Wow, okay. That's where they're at that, eh? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. uh Something noisy over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. YouTube. This is up there. Oh, I'm just going to talk to you for this. Bugs dishwasher safe. You're good. I wash mine in a dishwasher. They're good. They're good. So Gord's, Gord brought me coffee, so he got a mug. Did you get dirty already, Gord? So when you say you didn't get the internet fixed, does that mean you're going to do your live stream on TikTok with just your cellular? That would suck. Kind of expensive, too. Yeah, Terry, if you were going to go rock bouncing, the Rift is a cool one. It's got some design flaws out of the box that are kind of a little bit flaring. One of them is the front axle is kind of weak. Uh, they did fix it fairly quick-ish, I guess you could say somewhat quick-ish. Well, there is a fix they did where they built stronger axle with more reinforcement inside it. I never... I didn't run mine with the stocks configuration for very long because I broke it right away. I guess maybe it was the third, fourth time out. The A16. Is this the VA16? That's the VA16. Doesn't have any meat to it. This, uh, I'm going to assume this is the antenna holder. <laughs> because to me, I still think everybody uses antennas. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, three by eight, three by eight. So it's going to go in the bottom one. So that one there. Supposed to go into that. See, Cord, you're the one who said you didn't want to bring it up a bit brought up anymore in the live streams about you attacking me with an X Max, and then you brought it up. Dude, if I said anything like that about my dishwasher, I um, wouldn't be on this stream very much longer. <laughs> she'd kill me. Yep, 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 she'd kill me. What have we got where? Okay, so this one's going to use the two of these pieces here. One. And two. Okay, so that's going in there. Servo's going to mount in here. These are backups. So I don't want to place. I'm only going to hold it in one screw, really? Wow. Okay. All righty, then. Okay, let's go find one of my cheap-ass servos. Where did I put that bag? It's right there. These cheap Amazon servos I got. I don't even know if they're going to work. These were given to me by a customer. Brought them in, and he's like, yeah, I got these, a whole bunch of these cheap servos. And I thought, you know what? What the hell? They'll work for cheap little things like this. I'm not one to balk at free stuff. Okay, so is this supposed to go in front or behind? Okay, so it's supposed to go in front, and then this is supposed to be seen. You do this behind it? Like this. Hmm. That's awfully sloppy. Okay, what size is this supposed to be? These are supposed to be 3 by 15 BB2s, which I think are these ones. Okay. 3 by 15 BB2. Oh, wait. I wanted me to put a washer on here, didn't it? Yes, it did. Yes, yes, it did. Better put a washer on here just so I'm happy. Oh, I don't need more washers. I don't need more washers. Where the piece go? Okay. 
Okay. Here's another bag with more washers. No. Mm hmm. Get the size not getting a washer though. Because I think I lost one. I probably lost one. I don't think you really need one. So I like this is a high torque steering servo or something like that. Okay. That's in there. All these for an on and off switch, which I will not be installing in here. So I don't need to worry about that. Huh. This wants me to install this like this. Eh? So the steering, my, my ESC size is not going to matter that much. I wonder if there's another thing I'll run up through this battery. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to run all these wires and everything yet. mounted first. These are VA2s again. V2. <laughs> yeah, the part that you saw fall, the part of the build. Yeah, yeah, you probably saw it fall, and you're probably right. And I think it's going to be one of those things that's just going to be never to be seen again. Or maybe it's something my dog's chewing on. I don't know. Could be. We'll get some more iron in its diet. Servo. It's actually a pretty chunky little truck. Chunky little guy for its size. Fit into grooves. Tire, make sure a wheel, a sticker. You know what? It says nothing in here about gluing your tires. <laughs> That's awesome. They don't care if you glue your tires. Okay, so steering servo saver. I believe I'm going to attack this. So this one. Thank you. 
Okay, I might be able to get that in there, but I should probably have had that on before. Uh, I see. I want you to install that after, but that's fine. Okay. There's high power receiver. Decided to tape that down there somewhere. And these wires will go to here, and these wires will go to here. This double sided tape, which was in a package here that I threw over here somewhere. Where the hell did I put the tape? Ah, she's got so fucked up. Curious why they give you all this. But we'll figure that out in a minute here. small antennas on the guy. Where did it put? There it is. There it is. We need one, I think. Again, just pull this. Oh, wow, this tape sucks. Yeah, this tape sucks. This tape sucks. Turn this. Tunes, me tunes, more towns. Give me more towns. It's the same one we're listening to. Whatever. Okay, that's kind of on there, and that'll work back to there. I have no idea what battery I'm going to put in here yet. This is going to go to channel one. And I need the, which one is where? Okay, there we go. Okay, there, there, there. Where did I leave my transmitter? And like I said, it doesn't tell you anything about blue and tires, so I'm not going to. <laughs> not today. Blue later. Won't blue long screen because it's boring.
Oh, Scott's here. Look at that. Late to the party, man. Late to the party. I'm almost done. Although I did think this was going to be done a lot faster than this. But whatever. Whatever. These are like low pro tires are kind of cool. Gord, you were looking for tires for your trailer? I have a set of tires here, but these aren't them. But anyways, look at those. Those look good. These look kind of cool. Low pro-ish looking. Kind of badass. Badass, dude. Badass. Oh no, these are directional. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> Why do you keep laying at my feet? You're going to get rolled on. Cool, cool, cool. You break your truck yet, Scott? Silverbacks versus West Kelowna. Round two of the playoffs. Dude, it's spring. Hockey schmocky. I'd do what I always want to do. Just hand them to Aaron and say, here, you like gluing tires. Glue. I cannot bring myself to like gluing tires. I hate it. 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 It was the one thing I despise about building. I hate gluing tires. I hate gluing tires. And I hate gluing tires. Okay. Look how tis kind of roll head here. I'm gonna roll on you. I don't, oh, so you roll over onto your back? I'm gonna end up rolling over you with my wheel. Oh, never mind. Don't even know why I mentioned anything. Okay. That's that one. So we got some wheels happening here. And we got some hexes. I don't know any of these pieces are there. But here's the cool thing about using this controller instead of the other controllers. This one has taillights and headlights. So I can put like taillights and headlights in my truck and make it look way cooler than everybody else's. All right, what size are we supposed to use to hold these wheels on? <laughs> wow. Oh, BC1. It's got to be this set. Nope. Uh -oh.
Okay, here we go. Hmm. There's no way it's those little guys. No way it's those little guys. BC one times two. Wow, no freaking way. Three by ten, and it's a bolt. And I don't see a bolt anywhere. Not a three by ten bolt. And I dumped everything in there, and I haven't used any bolts anywhere. Let's open this up and see what's in here. I can tell you by looking at it, there's no tens in here. These are part bag D, which we didn't assemble D. There's no tens in there. Hmm. Not in that bag, because that didn't come with us. Come here, you. Come over here. There's a bag missing here somewhere. Where I put it somewhere. I'm missing a single bag. It could be. Yeah, it just went on your tail. I told you. Not in here. I'm missing a bag. I'm missing some washers and a few other things. Sure, shit, I'll find it later. Let's get the whole bag with parts. All right, let's get to this. It's cheap. How long does this need to be? 10 mil? That's 10 mil. You're in the wrong spot again. Move. Hey, move, please. Go in the bed. Well, that needs to be washered. So I need a washer now.
I'm sure there's a bag missing out there. Scott, I sold another Vortex today. It just so happened to be the right colors for Easter. So they wanted it. So short, so short. Should have pulled out four of these. Right? I was thinking I should have pulled out four of these. I was not thinking. Perfecto. Two more of these before I have to do this again. Monster truck bashing fest, so it lasts a whopping three seconds. I have other plans for this guy. I'm not bashing this guy. It's going to be used for competitions, but it's not going to be used for bashing competitions. There's two wheels. This is crazy high end stuff, man. You guys are missing out. Um, yeah, the other sled sold to a guy who actually is out here in Lumby. Sounds like he's liking it so far, so that's a good thing. But he did want, originally went with the 4S battery, the 6700 4S battery, but decided that's not fast enough, so he's going with the 6S. So he's got some batteries at the store waiting for him. So if you're wanting to bash the sledge, 6S is a must, really. It's kind of... 
it's it's too big to be for us to bash. It'll run, but you're not going to get like those epic jumps. You're not going to get it to flip and control in the air, and change its attitude and stuff like that very easily. Okay, the wheel alignment looks way off. <laughs> slash word, yep. I uh, know the sla slash was kind of well, maybe the Max V two wasn't it wasn't the Easter gift. That was somebody just saying, "I want that." Not a chance. Yeah, I'm still surviving by myself so far. I was totally intending on surviving by myself because Aaron got trapped. Got trapped by really toes. Okay, so this is going to go in here with that, 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 that. Okay. So there is a super epic plastic piece of crap. Where is the black piece of the other side? I do need more coffee. <clears throat> more coffee, right? <laughs> more coffee. How's that piece? There's no way that piece is going to fit that piece is missing anything to make it stick. Ah, I see. So they want you to run. Is there anything left on there? Anything left on there? You see anything left on there? I don't see anything left on there. Garbage. Twenty-five. I hate it when they do this. You know, like call it what you want, I suppose. But why don't you just put the number of its teeth on it? Why does it always have to be a name with Tamiya? I don't know if you guys can read this. Probably not. It's probably too close. Can we read that? Yeah, there it is. Futaba. And what does that say? Samoa? Tamiya. So usually that's 25 tooth. So that's what I'm going to go with. But seriously, why can't they just put 25 tooth on there and make it easier for everybody? I mean, come on. Yeah, that's come on. One. And two. Okay, so that's the way that's supposed to go together. That just looks small. Say in here what size on that part. Doesn't really say. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't say how many teeth. 
That's terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. So, I'm going to throw away this guy. I do need to power this thing up. And I'm going to have to run upstairs and grab my radio real quick. So that I can zero the servo out before we get too carried away. Oh, I got a battery pack that I think I could run in here. It's a 3S though. <laughs> Might have to. Okay, here's the battery, and I'm going to go grab my other Go grab the radio. Okay. Okay. 
get back. I'm just going to use this battery for now just to get it working. This is most certainly something that should have been put on before I put all this crap on the front. high-end Chinese Amazon cheap servo Let's see what we get here for hardware yeah of course it's Phillips okay so it also wants me to build one more arm real quick You scared of the dark or something? Don't be a wuss. Be a wuss, man. That's in. Now I'm thinking I forgot to do something here. Aha, that's what they want. So they want one of these guys right here. I want this dude put in on the back side of this. On that side. Okay, so that's there. That being that one's probably going to go this way, I think. The ball end's going to go here. The other end's going to go on that one. Which it conveniently didn't tell me to put that one in earlier either. Stupid machine. But I think I'm going to need to pull this off anyways. I'm going to pull this off because I know that this is going to be a pain in my ass later. Like, I know it's going to be a pain in the ass. So I might as well just bite the bullet and pull it apart now. Okay. So if I pull this out of here now, like so, now I can get to that screw. Okay. So 
We're not drawing the rift right now. Let's create a new model. Let's call this dude. What should we call this dude? It's called Muddy. It's called Muddy. All right. Uh, this is a four channel. Doesn't really matter. So we need to do the firmware update. Whatever, four channel. First. Front room door. Single steering. No additional features. Okay, now we're at the begin binding mode. So plug this in. I'm so gonna have to adjust these. And hold down the bind button. Okay, we bind mode. Begin binding. Okay, we're bound. Hmm. That's not a good sign. I think that might be not in there good enough yet. Let's try this. Quick check to see if that's bound up too hard. I'll try it. So that answers that question. Kind of zippy. Now steering. Either or that is centered there. So if that is centered there, I will put this on like this right here. Let's go over there. Look like you're ready to go to bed, dog. All right, we're gonna get this thing done here pretty quick. Okay, where is my screen? Oh, yeah.
I have a little 2S battery. You know what I could make work in this? For the amount of time we ever run it, I could throw a little 2S battery from a SCX24 in here. That would work. Last for about two minutes. Okay. Okay. Okay, steering test. We're good. Okay. Now I'll slap all this crap back together. Okay, there we go. And there. there. That's way too much battery for this thing. I need to find one of my small 2S batteries, not a 3S. I don't think I want to cut the motor right off of that. Okay. sucker. I need is a giant zip tie on top of here, which I think I have one. I have a zip tie. Okay, this is just temporary because I have only got a battery this size for me. So I'm going to zip tie it. 
This stuff doesn't fall anywhere too easy. Okay. <laughs> Let's see this thing, guys. Holy. you guys out here so you can see oh there it is now if i give it just a little bit of throttle because i got all this battery it's like whoo really time and it goes back too far but with a smaller battery it'll be fine <laughs> and that's not as fast as it goes so it can go faster we to get a spot here <laughs> Definitely need a smaller battery. <laughs> Anyways, so that's working. Okay, so it works and it drives and it goes forwards and backwards. And it's um, very, very top heavy with a battery strapped on the top like that. I mean, that's way too much weight, too far back. Too much, too much, too much. But that was just so we could get things lined up before I go and put the body in there. Okay, so I know that's a success. And it drives. So that is about it for that. Okay. I do have smaller batteries. I just don't know where I put them all. So what I'm going to figure out here now is we've gone to this part, this part, this part. Let's get this out. Let's get a body on here, and then we're going to call her done for the night. Battery compartment that it doesn't use. Battery holding plate that it doesn't use right now. What does it recommend for your body mounts? All right, so here's how it tells you to do your body mounts. These are the magnets. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Okay, so it runs, it drives. I'm going to put the body on at another date. Because it is, uh, we're already three and a half hours in, which I think is really long. Those guys really want to see me do the rest of it. got these cool little magnetic mount things that are supposed to mount to the sides here into the side and then your mount is supposed to go into the side of the chassis and that's what all these magnets that came in here are about these ones here they're all sticking together all the way together so
It is an advantage you don't have to paint it. That's kind of cool. It does make it quicker. What's that piece there? I actually had that much. So we want you to mount that in there with the plastic pieces when we get into the body for the sides. Pieces, and then we need here this one, and then this one, this one. So these will mount onto the body only. It's alive with no magic smoke, you're right. No magic smoke, because I didn't try to hook up a 3S battery into it yet. <laughs> I really don't think I need to run a 3S battery in it. I'm sure I have a 2S battery kicking around here somewhere. I just can't remember which box of batteries I put it in. But I know I had a smaller 3S battery. Let's see this here. All right. Okay. This is a quick snap. I want to see what this looks like with the body on it with all these wires real quick. Then we'll call our night. And I'll fine tune it on. Give you guys a running video of another date. Nobody wants to watch me put stickers on. Anyways, that's boring crap. My ice cold coffee, yeah. So I got my two 3D printers, my three 3D printers back. Do you guys think I should start making some 3D parts, like scale parts? Or I've been looking at a couple of things like a drifter, 3D printed drifter, some other stuff like that. What do you guys think I should start building with? I feel like feel like 3d printed parts are kind of done or not 3d printed parts but I mean like 3d printed scale accessories I feel like that's been pretty done so it makes me wonder if it's worth doing it if I should just hold off and do something else holy crap those magnets are tough those are good magnets there's one
um lê. Okay, so this is supposed to go into here on the outside. I'm going to pull off this film chip first. Tiny screws. Of course, they're all here in a bag, but I have not opened yet. Okay. Wow, those are small. Oh, too small for that driver. Where's my other driver? Side. Yeah, painting the small objects is, yeah. And I also find the accessories are good, but I wouldn't do them on, an F, on a filament style printer because I don't care. How good do you think your printer is? The resolution sucks and you end up getting lines. And I think scale accessories with lines on them are lame. Especially with the resin technology out there and the resin printer tech. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Holy man, are those magnets in there good. There and there. And there should be two more these leads. Okay. The only problem, like you can make accessories out of a resin printer. And they do look awesome, but they have no strength. Like anything made on a resin printer is generally pretty weak. Brittle, what happens with it. Um, which is one of the reasons why they kind of tell you, experienced guys that do it a lot, will tell you to hurry up and get it painted up as quick as you can. Because once you paint it up, it seals it off a little bit from... UV light and UV light makes it get more and more brittle constantly. That's one of the issues of resin. Is it will just keep getting more and more brittle the longer it's in light. So especially on crawlers and stuff, when you're building it, you're building it on a crawler that you know is you're gonna be using the thing outside, obviously. So every time you go out in the sun on a hot sunny day. All the plastic exposed pieces are getting more and more brittle 
and then you finally roll it or something and that piece hits hard ground or anything and it shatters glass and there are some resins i believe that you can get that'll cure a little differently and i think there's some sprays you can buy to put on them i'm never really wasting my time trying to figure it out too much though okay so that's gonna go like that right. oh yes i see where these go okay so these two mounts oh, okay so i'm not gonna put these on yet i'll put these on later but first we'll put these guys on so you guys can see them the a2s I just want to get this body up so you guys can check it out and go, yay, it looks so cool. Now I'm going to bed. Oh, stupid. That tape's, that tape's freaking garbage. I'm going to put my good tape on there. Wow, these two dogs. <laughs> These two dogs are suffering from some serious separation anxiety from their kids because they are being sucks. Okay. They are being some hardcore sucks. want the kids the kids are home tizzy's a uh, australian shepherd sheltie cross so her herding instinct is going a little beside itself right now because most of her flock has disappeared she doesn't like that she probably won't even sleep with it. I actually think you probably can get away with running this without having to run a body clip. I can hear her running around in the house. She'll go upstairs. She'll go all the way up to the kids' room. She'll check their rooms. They're still not there. She'll come all the way back down here. <laughs> you 3D printed body for your six foot. Is that the one you got from Graham? Like a while ago? Or who printed that one for you? I think you won that, didn't you? Okay, let's see what this looks like. One more screw to go. And you guys can get a quick glimpse of what it's going to look like. And then we're going to sign off for the night. Okay. Here we go. These wires are here, these wires are over here. I'll shorten that stuff up later. There's one. This guy here will be two. And that is kind of what the little guy looks like. Of course, you know. The suspension will be compressed. There. This is what she looks like. Looks like that. La la la. Ooh, look at that, eh? Epicness. Epicness.
This wheel's a huge on this thing. I think it'll run way better, though, without the uh, giant battery strapped to the roof. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, boys and girls, people of all ages, just the right way. There we go. That is it. That is all I'm going to do tonight. I get to that far. I'm going to trim her up and tune her up tomorrow, or maybe the next day, or whatever. When I get some time, I got two dogs that are acting like they're going to lose their minds for some silly reason. And then there's a whole pile of stickers that I'm supposed to put on this thing, but I'm not really sure what way I want to put them on. And then I'm going to clean up all this wiring. And I need to find a battery, a 2S battery. I have 3S batteries, but I just need to find a 2S battery that will slide into here. And I actually have, oh, I know what I've got. I've got a couple of old um, lithium-ion batteries that I can put in there. I'll zip tie this stuff up and out of the way. Wrap these wires out of the way. Fix this steering because it's kind of towed in too much. And uh, boom, there we go. Okay, man, no smoke machine. Oh, it absolutely wheelies. <laughs> it wheelied a lot. You rewind it a bit, you'll see I, I, the battery I've got to run for it is this great big sucker, which is bigger than the truck. So it wheelied like right away. It wheelies. It wheelies. Cool. Because it'll go right back to there. That's that's sitting on the wheelie bar right now. So, I'll uh, finish it up, and I'll show you guys on the live stream next week on Wednesday the completed, the completed little runner. Maybe I'll shoot a video with it. So you guys can actually see it run, run. And go from there. Pretty sure we need these here. Just like that. There's, so the battery's supposed to fit in that compartment there. So it would fit uh, like a lithium ion. Those little two cell packs that you find in a lot of the smaller RCs. So that's what we'll do. It's pretty cool. Oh, I see what that's supposed to be. I think. Anyway. So, you guys, thanks for sticking around, and uh, wow, four hours. Okay, we're going to call our night, and one built down. Next one won't be so long. Well, it'll be longer, but it won't be as long of the. So, we'll catch you guys later. I'll turn this one off. Thanks for coming, guys. I'll see you next week. Talk to you later, Scott. I'll give you a shout. I'll go for a rip with the sledge. I got parts. So, all right, man. Bye. Thanks for tuning in.